stock market trader reveals uh, a powerful pitchfork tool at tips. A stock market trader reveals a powerful a pitchfork tool at tips. We are a monthly chart of the travelers uh, companies in corporation, a stock that is listed on the Dow 30. And I'm applying okay, the pitchfork tool, the Andrews a pitchfork tool. I would like to remind, remind traders that uh, the most neglected, uh, neglected okay, technical uh, tool is the Andrews a pitchfork tool. Though professional traders use the pitchfork tool, ordinary traders do not apply the pitchfork tool. In this uh, video tutorial, I want to share with you, I want to reveal to you, okay, powerful, okay, pitchfork tool uh, tips. Generally, okay, according to the theory, we need a three point to draw the pitchfork tool. So, a lot of traders already know this, but stay with me because I want to reveal with you a powerful pitchfork tool, tool uh, tips. So, price goes up from A okay to b and then a pull back without cancelling the previous move all right we will apply the p fork tool to those three points the same rules applies when the price goes down from i'm doing this for new traders so if you are a very experienced trader uh, okay step aside for a while and I'll get back to the main topic, but I need to explain this to new traders. Very, very important, all right? And then the price, okay, rally up, okay, to point C. So A, B, C, all right? Price went down from A to B, and then rally up without counseling the previous bearish trend. And then, okay, we have point C here. We'll apply the P for two. If you look carefully on this chart, we have an up move all right, from A to B. All right, so price went up from here to here. And then it pulled back. Yes or no? All right? It pulled back to point C without counseling the previous trend. Now we can use okay, the pitchfork tool. All right? The trading software that I'm using here is called TC2000. Very simple but uh, powerful, okay, uh, trading, okay, charting uh, software uh, that I use. And uh, I will show you how I draw, okay, this P4 tool. Now, once again, for traders that are very experienced, step aside while I'm trying to clarify this for new traders quickly before I reveal to you, okay, the P4 tool, uh, tips that I want to share with you today. So, here yeah, I already placed my P4 tool. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it and then put it back again. All right. Okay. So with the P4, uh, with uh, this trading software, here it is, my P4 tool. I just click on it and then I click on the chart. Okay. It's there. So I pick the middle point. I put it to the point A. Then I choose one side. I move the point A. Uh, so hold on, please, my friend. So. The middle point go to the point A. Okay, so we move one side to point C and the other side to point B. All right. All right. You see now? Adjust it correctly. Okay. All right. That's how we place the pitchfork tool on the chart. Now, the next thing I want to clarify with traders that uh, the role of the pitchfork tool is uh, to help uh, traders to know the possible path that the price is likely to take. What do I mean by that? So you can see that we see the point A, point B, point C, we place our pitfork tool. So after, when the price was here, we start changing direction, very important, it must start changing direction here before we can place the pitfork tool, all right? So once it starts going up, we place the pitfork tool, at this point in time, once we see the P4 tool here, we know that the price has a high chance to stay within the boundaries of the P4 tool. 
the pitchfork tool allows traders to know the possible path that the price is likely to take. So as it starts going up and down, we know that there's a high chance that it will stay within the boundaries of this pitchfork tool. <laughs> Beautiful. So we can. So here we are. We know that it's a rise in pitchfork tool. A low for opportunity to buy here. Okay. Bullish trading setup, apply top down trading metal. Here it is. If it goes out, okay, I don't want to dwell on that. Now, if it goes out and come back in, game on. All right, so you see here it came out and goes back in. It's bullish. All right, anytime it goes out and come back in, it's bullish. Another bullish trading setup. And if we are buying, it's going up, it comes here, we take our profit. Goes up near the air, we take our first profit. Pay attention to the media line of the pitchfork tool. But for this video, what I want to share with you today is that generally, once one traders draw their pitchfork tool like this, that's it. All right, they draw it and they say, that's it. But we can do more with the pitchfork tool. This is about, okay, a stock market trader reveals a powerful pitchfork tool tips. So suppose you, you know how to use the pitchfork tool and you place it on a chart like this. What's the next thing that you can do with this pitchfork tool that you have on your chart, this powerful, most neglected trading tool? What can you do with it? All right, this is the tips I want to reveal to you today. So here, the next thing that we do, because this talk now is the travelers companies, the price is out of uh, the, the pitchfork tool. We measure the height, okay, or the, the width, okay? We measure the width of the pitchfork tool. Okay, here it is. We measure the width of the pitchfork tool and we project it in the direction of the price. Then, you see, that's the width, the size, okay, of the pitchfork tool. And then we project it in a direction, or put it on top like this, in the direction of the price. Then we just draw a line that is parallel to the pitchfork tool. In fact, what we are doing, we are projecting our pitchfork tool in the direction of the price. But now, because we do not have another three points to draw a pitfall tool, the only option that we have is to use the projection by measuring the width of the pitfall tool and project it in the direction of the price. And then we draw a line that is parallel to the pitfall tool. Now, you may be wondering, why do we need to do that? So, suppose you know this and you have done it now. So price breaks above the pitchfork tool from a beautiful double bottom chart pattern here. Can you see it? <laughs> it's not very clear, this one. Okay. L, a low, and an equal low. Where is the nut? The nut is here. So for this bullish pattern to become truly to be bullish, the price might go above okay, the nut. Here it is, he break a ball, retest here, we buy here. All right, are you with me? So, if you buy, you want to know where the price, so you see what I told you already, that the pitchfork tool allow us to know the possible path that the price is likely to take. You can see that from the year 2000 up to uh, 2012, it was within okay, the boundaries of this pitchfork tool that we have drawn since the year 2000 we drawn this pitchfork tool, which is telling us that if this stock is going now, it has a high chance to stay within the boundary of our pitchfork tool. And that was exactly the same thing that exactly what has happened from 2000 to 2012 the travelers company in cooperation stays within the boundary of the pitchfork tool. Now it's out of the pitchfork tool, but we do not have another three point to draw our pitchfork tool. Therefore, we use the width of the pitchfork tool and project in the direction of the price. So it's like we have a new pitchfork tool now. If I draw a media line through my... Uh, are you with me? Okay. It's like we have a new by projecting the pitchfork tool. It's like I have a new pitchfork tool. Can you see now? So now, what is this? Is what, what can so let me speak proper English to you. What can we deduct from this? Uh, okay, a new 
okay, pitchfork too. So what we can deduct from this now is that uh, the price, the travelers company corporation has a high chance to dwell within the boundaries of our projected pitchfork tool. So once again, game on. We want to buy, we want to buy on the edge, near the media line, and if the price going up, it reaches the top, we need to be careful. This is exactly what traders are doing here. So, it went, so the bot is somewhere here, it's here, you see, it went up, mid, near the media line, some take profit, all the way to the top of our projected channel, it pulled back, they buy, they are taking profit on the edge. What will happen if it pop up again? If it pop up, <laughs> you like that word, pop up, all right? We will project it one more time. So we have the measuring stick here, and then we project it again. You'll be surprised sometimes, you will find excellent training setup by doing exactly, uh, this is a simple, okay, projection that I'm showing you here, the projection of the pitchfork tool. All right, it makes sense? It is also powerful. So at this point in time, we will say that this, the price is at a conversion point because it's going from the, the lower part of our projected channel, a projected uh, pitchfork tool. Now it's at the upper end. Okay, pull back, breaks the ball, you project it again, and so on. What will happen if it pop below, if it was here, if it went out like this, we'll do exactly the same thing. We measure it, the size of the pitchfork tool, and we project it like this to determine the possible path that the price is likely to do. It's a very, very powerful tool, the pitchfork tool, because we want to know where the price is likely to go. And the pitchfork tool is telling us that this is like a, okay, a train on a, on a track is likely to stay within the boundary of the pitchfork tool. What can we do if it comes out of the pitchfork tool? We project the pitch of pitchfork tool in the direction of the price. Okay? I hope you'll find this video useful, okay? And we put it into use, okay, to make excellent trading decisions. If one wants to buy, one wants to buy on the edge, near a support level. One wants to sell, one wants to sell on the edge, near a resistance level. And the pitchfork tool allow traders to trade on the edge. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about stock market trader reveals powerful pitchfork tool tips. Speak to you soon.